the University of Melbourne has been working with the Australian Antarctic Division on the development of low-cost technologies for the cleanup of contaminated sites. Since 2005, we've been sending PhD students and academic staff to develop these technologies. 0.1% of the Antarctic continent is ice-free during the summer months. This area is the same area where animals breed. And unfortunately, it's also the same area where Antarctic stations are built. One technology that we have been developing are called permeable reactive barriers. In this technology, we dig a trench and fill the trench with reactive material to capture fuel and degrade the fuel in the ground. We have been developing this technology since 2005 and it has proven highly successful and as a result we have installed approximately eight permeable reactive barriers across Casey Station. The best thing about living and visiting Antarctica are working with a diverse uh, bunch of people that are all very excited and enthusiastic about being there. The most difficult aspect of being in Antarctica is not being able to go to the shops. 